Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Fallout Mocha Lover. And right now, this isn't where we left off, like I said, at the end of the last episode, but New Reno decided to go to war for Antelope Tribe, or Antelope Territory. So, and they call it in the NCR, which isn't very good for us. Uh, we've killed off 9,000 of them so far. The Shi'ar are in the war for some reason. And we're also still at war with the High Chapel, but I've also gone ahead and done the Focus for Institute in the Courtyard Draft. The seething hordes in the courtyard are viewed by many as little more than an annoyance, a leech upon resources. It might be true that more goes into them than they give back, but what they are is a ready pool of manpower, a meat shield against the horrors of the wasteland. So that's, as you can see, that's almost done. Uh, this isn't going great. We can help hold the fan here against the enemies, because mole rats are pretty good. A couple divisions, you know, puppet division stuff and here. So we're defending, we're doing okay. Overall though, we're losing money, which is not good. So, yeah. I'm trying to lower the autonomy of the Cyclops tribe as fast as possible, so this way I can integrate them, and we get the manpower, we get the water, which is going to be super, super important for our resource swap, resources, because we really, really need that. And so yeah, things are going okay, but we have a lot of comments to go through, let's let time go on a little bit and talk about a couple of the comments. First of all, try out the Olympia tribe. Well crap, there goes a the sheep. Uh, yeah, I don't mind doing that sometime. I don't think they have a unique focus tree yet, so I kind of want to wait until then, so... We have other nations, at least I have other nations in mind before we go down that way. Uh, Hounds of the North, I do want to finish all of this area first. Actually, you know what, maybe instead of Olympia, uh, Cyclops Drop, maybe we'll annex the Pale Folk first. I think that might be a little bit better, actually. Yeah, let's do the Pale Folk, since we already are technically, if I remember correctly, uh, done with their part of the focus tree, which is not bad, which is great. Honestly, that's really, really great. Climate 3 alignment, more daily political power could help them out. Ooh, Antelope Territory could help them out as well, maybe... We can't do anything else down here yet. Uh, security mo uh, militarization might not be bad. Better... Oh, minus 20% support for robots. That's not bad. We get more population, though, which is going to be super necessary. Um, uh, I kind of do want to get more factories first, though. So, renovate downtown. Downtown is the heart of the economy proper and houses vast and houses the vast majority of our skilled labor and workforce services. Renovation for it is near constant, with much of our yearly budget going to expansion and subsidies. Other comments. Replay the Yakuza territory sometime. I do want to play as Yakuza again. I only played as them once so far. And that was with the mod compilation, which at the time of this recording is unavailable, or at least doesn't work with Old World Blues 3.0 Monster of the East. So I would like to play as them again sometime, but we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Uh, yeah, I would. I actually we would really like to go back to that mod and just try it out again, because it's been so long since I've played it. At least in my mind. Uh, you guys are doing well over here. We're, I mean, holding out, it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. New Reno has what? What does New Reno have? In terms of manpower, none! Oh, we got the stuff done for them too. Great! Ooh, that is not good over there. We'll fix that up. Obviously, the NCR's got a bunch of dudes. 127 divisions. Uh, Reno, though, I wish it didn't go to war with us. I really wish it didn't, but it is what it is, you know. There's not much we can really do about that. I'll send you guys down here, just in case. Other comments. So, according to you guys, uh, apparently, this land doctrine here, with conventional and asymmetric warfare, uh, it requires some more production, according to you guys, in terms of actually being able to use them, like radius and such, which I did see when I played as a Red Menace, also known as the Chinese... Oh, there it is, portable radios. Chinese communists in Colorado with the Red Menace submod. There it is. Soldier level radio integration. All of our infantry and special forces units will now require radio equipment to coordinate better with each other, increasing their combat ability, but requiring further factory investment. So there is that. So I didn't realize that. Um, and mobile fortifications as well. Build mobile fortifications for fire bases or unique support unit, which gives great defensive benefits at the cost of mobility, which will have to construct them though. So I didn't realize that. That's actually really kind of pretty darn unique. I guess I have updated this to the latest version of Old World Blues, but that is kind of wild. No entrenchment loss on attack. Wow. I, ooh. Okay. Mobile fortifications. Um, that seems really, really strong. However, with Trooper Warfare, don't tell me they got rid of extra manpower. They got rid of the extra manpower. Ooh. Unless it's somewhere else, which I don't think it is. I'm sorry I've taken so long with the land doctrine. Just because it's been a while since I've actually... I think I've used this, so... I can normally go down with Refined Warfare. So no more manpower bonuses in Conventional Warfare, which means, at least for me... I'm going to choose this probably a lot less. Even though that breakthrough is pretty good. Um, so, it's good to know that. It's very, very good to know. But actually, with this stuff too... Asymmetric Warfare? What is... Wasteland Tactics? Oh, they gave us... 
Apparently someone also said that it gave a lot of buffs to enforcers and militia. So, that's interesting. Waste on tactics. You get more... Re Ooh, a whole recon. That's not bad. Less resistance growth. I like that a lot. There you go, enforcers. So, maybe the devs want us to use militia and enforcers a lot more. 20% more breakthroughs. Really nice. Yeah, even better. Resistance, growth speed, and arts it's occupied by the enemy. More max speed, more soft attack. That's not bad. I, I kind of... I kind of like the changes, but I kind of prefer... I'm not going to say I prefer the old changes. I like the new changes. But I'm not saying they're better or worse than the old ones. More breakthrough. So thank you to whoever left that comment. More H well, 100 percent more HP for the army. Holy cow. Um, so thank you. Uh, I didn't realize that. It's good to know. It's always good to be aware. So let's see. Let's go have some more output because we can always use more output. Out use more output, right? Absolutely. Hopefully we can hold up here as well. Oh, we lost that towel. Well, you know what? That's okay. Just just dig in. Seriously, just dig in. Just dig in and you hold. And if they get Twin Falls, it doesn't really matter. Ah, got some transports. That'll be nice. Oh, we can't get gunships. So why can't we get gunships? Uh, we got the Vertebrug schematics, but we don't have the scientific air tech. Hopefully we can rectify that. That'll be good if we can. Let's grab some more attack because we can. That'd be nice as well. Um, are they still attacking us here? They are, which is kind of sucky, but just so one of you guys didn't, that should be more than good enough. Alright, other comments. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so we got talked about the land doctrines, which is good to know about, since I almost exclusively, I don't say exclusively, but I often now only use, not only use, I often use refined war for my campaigns ever since Monsters of the East came out, so. As long as we're winning on defense, that's all I really care about. Good. Ooh, they're still, they're still attacking like a bunch of crazies. The Legion, I'm, I'm just, at this point I'm just kind of waiting for the Legion to get involved here, so that'd be nice. We're throwing in the Mole Rat Division, because the Mole Rats have so much defense, holy cow. Like, compared to infantry, let's see, defense is almost 300 for these normal guys, or, you know, Mole Rats versus 69. That's a, that's my security team? No, no, it's this one, no. Security team 2, that's one we want to boost up. No? What happened here? Why are they both tank combat with? Holy bad words. Um, at that point then, yeah. You guys... Urgh, that's not good enough, man. I'll be honest. We gotta go mole rats. Mole rats for life. <laughs> Maybe we should make that the title of this video. Mole rats for life. Uh, let's see. What else? These guys should be able to hold out. Uh, yeah. Asymmetric warfare is buffs for militia and enforcers. Oh, uh, that's nice. Ooh, let's go and grab that too. We could use more extraction. What are we building up? We do want to annex pale folk. So, can we build in their territories? Yes, we can. That'd be very good, actually. Build some stuff up there. This, this will absolutely help them out. In the meantime, though, are we missing anything that we need? Support equipment. But that's going to require more water. So, we need more water. Ooh, even more. I need more water, too. Uh, can we build more water or purification stations in here? No, we cannot. So, actually, annexing Polo Polk will be extremely necessary. Now, they do have a little bit of water, which will help out quite a bit, actually. Um, actually, they don't have that much water. Once we integrate them... If I remember correctly, they probably I'll probably actually put down resistance here too, which is gonna really suck, and I don't understand why, because that doesn't make any sense. And as yes, the person there's one person who left a comment saying that honorary vault dwellers it actually adds autonomy instead of removing autonomy, which makes no sense, especially since they're protectors and we want to integrate them. But you know, we'll deal with it no matter what. We'll put it like that. We'll deal with it no matter what. We'll we'll do okay. Let's see, someone recommends we should puppet and annex as well, like I've said before. Yes, we will puppet, we will annex, we will integrate, we'll have a good time. At this point, I think New Reno is pretty much dead in terms of offensive capabilities. Sanctuary City, huh? I'll get more caps and manpower, that's... I don't really care. Uh, even NCR can't break our lines because they can't, which is good. You guys, this is starting to worry me a little bit more. Please get it back on the line. We're getting more army XP as well as experience for everyone else. If you like to read about the caravan ambush, go right ahead, but we can at least try. That's the most important thing to do, is at least try. Uh, someone recommends that we use operatives to steal enemy technology. We could. I'm again, I'm not really for that idea, just because we're already so advanced and we get technology so quickly. I'd rather help put down resistance and maybe even like do counter espionage stuff, just because we're advanced and I don't want people stealing our stuff. I'd rather capture enemy soldiers and maybe even make them into double agents. I think that'd be a little bit more fun, at least for me, so. Guys, I know I shouldn't send mole rats here. Well, actually, it's okay doing that. But using these guys, like, I don't mind using our puppets manpower and doing all that good stuff down there. Uh, no, thank you. As much as I'd love to use you, we're running out of caps. Oh. Not very bueno. In the meantime, though, return puppet divisions before annexing them. Yes. Because we have our inner focus stream, uh, we get 
we give bonuses to our puppets, 5% more manpower, of course, which is great, great, great. Um, so return the divisions so that when you annex them, you actually get those divisions as well, which is actually a really, really smart thing to do. So, All right, what do we got here? Lower the autonomy of a puppet. Uh, Cyclops City. Yeah, that'd be good. I still want Pale Folk first, though. So, 50, how much is it going to cost? We'll have enough in time. So, renovate downtown. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, our guys. Uh, yeah. Polyphemus. Polyphemus. Anything else around here? We already have melee hacker. I should have went more defensible. It doesn't matter. We're doing okay regardless. Light touch, infantry, mole rats are where it's at. So, that's not even going to work. Fight the power. I never choose fight the power because we're usually never on defense. But, you know what? Let's do it. This, this won't help us out in the long term for a lot of things, especially if we venture out and try to do more, you know, defensive maneuvers everywhere and attack over lands that aren't our cores. But you know what? That gives us an immediate bonus to here. It's because Vault City, or the Brain's Wrath, is literally our territory here, which is good. I'm worried about these guys, though. You guys have got to win. And I can't afford to get any more man, any more divisions. Now, High Chapel, let's look at their manpower. They have about a thousand left. Not that many divisions, which is good. They love attacking us like crazy, and they do have a good amount of stockpile left, which sucks. Whatever, you know, it is what it is. Mm, anything else down here? Raise pale militia. We could do that, but I'm not really interested. Recruit. Um, he's already here. But you know, if he is a second, or if they're like a twin or something, I'll take him. I guess. Renovate downtown. So, I think for now we're gonna maybe modernize the courtyards. We can maybe build things faster, make more factories. Unless there's even more population with the Baltic pride over there. Very cool. Uh, let's see, just because I want to get down to where we can extract more resources, I think that would be really, really good. Not sure where there's at, where that would be at, actually. So, we shall do the next focus with... Rightful territory, eh, I'll just come over here. Modernize the courtyard. The courtyard is going into a sprawling city on its own right, housing thousands of souls. It's also incredibly out of date, for it is a glorified ghetto with a crumbling infrastructure. And I'll see you when we have more of the NCR done and defeated. Well, everyone, here we are at, and somehow... Our allies were able to push in, but that's probably because, well, Heaven's Gate literally just declared war on High Chapel. So, that's fine with us. Actually, diplomacy, thank you. They just went to war with them. A couple focuses that we've done so far off screen security, militarization. The security forces centered around Vault City have long been incapable of acting as a proper military outfit, due in part to fears that they might overtake the city government, and because before there was never a need to expand rapidly. Now, however, we find ourselves in need of organized training. I've also done security station. Monitoring local radio waves and housing much of the guard, the security station is the closest thing we have to a military headquarters, and as such, it must be a proper fortress, in addition to integrate the courtyard. The courtyard problem has been troubling us for generations, for its citizens have been treated as second class all the while. The choice to integrate them into the city proper, proclaiming them as a little but slightly superior second class, should placate them for a while. So, with these guys going to war, and our allies actually being able to push into the enemy, um, I'm just going to go ahead and kill these guys off, and you know what? I will give all of High Chapel to these folks. Oh wait, oh, wrong group, wrong group, my bad. Uh, you guys sit down there, just because it, it could get really bad over there if they go to war these guys. I'm glad that the, I was about to say the allies, they're not the allies. Um, the folks down there, NCR, hasn't done too much. I've actually been able to push in just a little bit too. Here are the casualties so far. Uh, we've lost about 6,000, while well, they've lost 20,000 from the NCR, as well as 15,000 from the uh, New Reno, but it is what it is, you know, whatever. I don't really care too much. Uh, you guys, you might be actually be able to push in, especially if they're not looking too strong, and, and as Heaven's Gate is pushing in as well, so. My goal is to push them back out, out of our own territory, so that would be quite ideal. And also with the Mole Rats, I did throw on some saws and anti tanks, so our guys are actually looking pretty good. Uh, you guys can head on in as well. Good preemptive interception. I've just been here doing focuses, getting more air doctrine stuff done. Finish the land doctrine, which we went with accurate radiation exposure, more soft attack organization, max speed, hard attack, all the good stuff. Because at this point, New Reno literally can't do anything against us. So they can try, but they're not going to be very successful. And with you guys, yeah, they're coming in, so go ahead and crush them as well. Just go ahead and finish them off. Finish off that part of the line. Get rid of some more divisions so we can stop losing so much gosh darn money. Because now we're losing like 21 caps, 22 caps every quarter. Oh my goodness, not very good. Very, very, very not good. So we got that back, which is nice. So we got all of the courtyard back, almost. Almost all the courtyard back. So we need this tower, but I would like to make it in circle mode here. So we'll see what happens. You guys be... Oh, that's good. I just is gone. Well, that's good. No, you are completely unable to do that, which sucks. Suck, suckerinos. And as you can tell, they, they love attacking quite a bit. So go ahead on in if you can. 
you guys help the attack, and if we can, hopefully we can do pretty darn well here. If not, well, that's not going to be very good for us now, is it? Come on, I want to circle all these guys, that is 8 plus 10, that's a total of 10, 14, 18 divisions right there. New Haven, I don't really care what New Haven does, what I want is Pale Folk. Oh, we got him, nice, good job guys. Oh, it's slowly dropping, oh, those divisions are all going to die. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very, very good. And after this, we will delete some more divisions just because we won't need as many guys on the line, so that would actually be very, very useful. NCR, FC captured NCR operative. Good, we killed the soldiers off, and now we're at 38,000. Very, very nice. And digital fertilizer, very good. Man, that'd be crazy if we, as Vault City, can take off, or take off, take on all of the NCR by ourselves, with our allies, of course. We have integrated the courtyard. Next up, we shall do more industry focused stuff, expand the wall. Vault City is a, like is growing like the cities of old, and it has recently been pointed out that the, the vast majority of our people live far from our protected fortifications. A new layer of walls must be created to protect that which we've invested so much in. Come on, guys. Please lower your autonomy. Oh, oh that's not good. Uh, over here, though, 197, 194. At this point, let's go ahead and just drop them. Drop them as hard as we possibly can. I've got to, got to lower all the autonomies. We still have enough political power anyway, so... Just because I gotta get rid of some of these divisions. You guys, not too bad. I'm actually gonna do this so we can pitch up these guys right now. And I can actually probably delete these four divisions here, which actually, this is still have the pale folk over there from chem feed as well. Totally fine, but. Come on. Go, 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 go. Good. They should be gone. Okay, good, good, good. And because I don't wanna go to War of Heavens again either. Can we just have them? I don't care about them. I didn't wanna t deal with them in the first place, so. They were just guarding their formers, so there you go. Wait, what? How, how, how much score is that? Holy cow! Come on. High, high job is not worth that much. Jesus, bad words. Bad words all around. That's so stupid. No. That should not be that much. Jesus Christ, come on. High purchase is not that valuable. Yeah, it's not that valuable. But regardless, let's go and delete. Well, you guys can actually head on down here, and then you guys go bye bye. Sorry, Mexico Jr., but you're gone. Alright, up next, who can we lower the autonomy of? Not the person I want. Um, I'm going to save it for now. We can do that in a little bit. Expand the wall, build the wall, whatever wall we want to build. Wartime administration. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got to do that. I don't want anyone else to get too much autonomy, so. Well, god dang it, now we have less political power. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That's right, though. These guys, are, they, these guys, the mole rats, don't have a lot of attack. Or their attack is okay. It's not great. Yeah. Actually, it's not too bad. 104. Hold on. So, I got rid of some more of the security teams. You guys have 30. Well, you guys are double the... So, these guys are 20 combo width. The security team is 10 combo width. So, we doubled that. This was like 30, so it would be 60. Of course, we do have support companies down here, too. Yeah, we actually are doing okay on soft attack as well. So, I'm actually a little bit pleased about this. Advanced circuitry. As you can see, we've done a lot of things already here. Let's grab some digital data links. That'd be nice. Alright, we've pushed into... Be into uh, uh, Reno territory, which is great. Slowly pushing back in further and further. See what you can do. You know what? You can try that too. And these guys have much more breakthroughs, so that's actually really nice. Thirty, well, actually, thirty-eight is not great. You guys have thirteen, so yeah, much better. <laughs> A lot better, actually. There you go. There you go. This helps shore up the line a little bit better, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We actually might try be able to try a general attack eventually. Uh, cost. What's the cost? Minus 13, basically. That's not bad. Not bad. Ooh, any more Pale Folk? I don't think we do. Oh, we got lots of laser carbines. I love having really good research. It's so nice having really good research, man. Uh, air stuff. We can't still do stuff here, which sucks, but whatever. Industry. Let's grab some of this. Because we can. Uh, subject of suck up strides, uh, refuge, whatever. Basic laser weaponry. Very nice. So we more scrap and such, but that's alright. I don't really wonder if we can do a general attack, but let's keep doing what we need to do as best as we possibly can. Thank you. And how this going as well. Overwhelming attacks. Yeah, at this point, I think uh, New Reno, I mean, they're pretty much sunk in the water. They're completely out of manpower. Stockpile-wise, do they have anything? They have some planes. A little bit of anti-tank. No, they got nothing. So if we push, we could probably do really well against them, actually. And I'm constantly running out of things to build. Now, I want to build more stuff up here, but I did build some water purification stations. I've been building up a lot of air bases around here, but you know what? We have to. 
I don't care what it takes. Build, build, build. We gotta integrate them. You're next. Yeah, this is just pathetic. Ah, oh, good. Come on. I'm pretty sure I told you guys to get in there too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Basic drills will be nice for infantry if we really want to use that. That's a little bit too ahead of time. Let's go, go, come over here and grab some of you. Three dimensional printers. We could grab the other stuff, the industrial stuff above that, but whatever. I really want to try general attack. I don't think it'd be really worth it yet. 80s change. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, what's going on here? Energy from the 80s. Oh, they dropped that. Stratify attack patterns. Not bad. Let's grab some of this. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Over here. No, thank you. We appreciate your service, but whatever. Push him back, push him back. Good. Expand the wall, build the wall. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do automated security. While recruitment is a viable option, many within Vault City could rather focus on the production of robotic guardians. Due to no small part of their use, meaning we don't have to hire and promise anything to the masses in the courtyard. Now, I'm just literally waiting here for us to get this done with Pale Folk. Like, we need more political power. You know what? Screw it. We're not going to do that one yet. Give me as much political power as possible. I want to integrate them now. Because I want to begin putting down the resistance and get more compliance and finally integrate them as well. Very good. Your turn. Up out. Not bad. I mean, we must have, like, absolute air superiority, which I love, 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 but... So, uh, you guys, what's going on around here? Oh, expert health fighter, yes! Uh, you guys, anyone? No. Which is fine, because you're not even fighting over there, if I remember correctly. Alright, keep killing them. Yeah, you guys kill all, all you guys kill these guys too. There you go, there you go. Still attacking us a little bit. Now we're fighting some actual NCR troopers here, which is, you no, know, not bad. Obviously, the arena soldier is going to be dropping first, but even the NCR troopers can't do too much against us. Alright, there we go. Can we finally do it? Hopefully. Beautiful. Now we're looking a little better. The Brain's Wrath is expanding, and now we have occupied territories. I still do not understand why. We cannot... Oh, look at all these guys. Look at all these templates we got. Oh, God, no. Um, just have these cord immediately. That makes no sense to me. Why don't we have these cord? Like, we, if we integrate them, these guys should all be cord, right? That only makes sense to me. Well, since we have their divisions now, uh, we could use a few of these, but... That cost, holy bad words. Thank you for that manpower. Awesome cost has gone down now to fi minus 15, which is pretty normal, but let's go ahead and go back to do this one and have a good time. Well, everyone, here we are at, as you can see, I have already taken out New Reno. Wasn't that difficult with them, you know, running, killing all their manpower off. Uh, here's the casualties. Heaven's Gate has gone to war with us, basically, in which they're basically just pulling a high chapel, in which we're still defending. I bolstered it with a few more defenses or you know, divisions of mole rats. 41,000 losses for the NCR. They don't like to attack too often, but sometimes they do. Heaven's Gate, of course. The She. We've taken 2,000 losses. And Elder Tribe's lost quite a few. And, yeah. That's pretty much where we're at right now. Uh, let's talk about the focuses I've done. I've gotten quite a few focuses. It's already January 1st, 2282. But I'm, I'm going to go a little bit more in order. So we did, I did, off screen, the Hounds of the North right here, in which the Cyclops tribes have fallen into a state of full subservience, and eagerly seek to do battle on our behalf, our loyal allies or servants. That's a hard way, or hard to say, but even now, they rally to our side, in which we, then I did eye on the vault, now that the Cyclops tribes are ready to fight for us, we did ensure that they will see our point of view. Extensive training programs for the leadership and a few select advisors from Vault City will align the leadership style and administration with their own, and then I followed that up with route to Kimmel Station. Kimmel Station is along the trade routes to Northwest. Controlling this region is vital to our strategic and economic interests. Followed with, let's see, where was it? Face cramming. With Dweller Master on our side, we can begin aligning with the management of rightful territories, internal mechanisms with our own. Vault City Advisors and Educational Programs will take care of this. In which we are now doing, of course, the Ruby and the Crescent. Dweller Master has proven an able ally and has already improved his reputation with the neighboring tribes. Now they are seen as a fierce guardian. Rather than a rabid dog, the people of Ruby Valley are eager to come to, under his protection, 
and in which I've also did the new way. Although we established a cooperative government after the Yakuza capitulated, there is growing support for alternative worldviews. To put a stop to this, we need to begin a coordinated campaign of influence on their leadership at all levels. This will largely involve education about the proper ways of thinking. Which is not bad, and as, as you can see earlier, we did take out the re new arena folk, which was actually really, really, really good, because now we actually are doing okay on trade. You know, I'm pretty sure actually I will still pop with them in the end. So, there's that. Um, yeah. In the meantime, I did want to go ahead and finish off the Ruby and the Crescent. And we can actually go ahead and, well, integrate suck up tribes. Ooh, diplomatic training is done. However, I would like to do this one first. So get cores on this place first. Or we can demand territory from people as well. Let's get this one done first. And then do eyes on the prize. And actually, I want to integrate the Yakuza. So to ensure a good dog continues to serve, you must reward it for good behavior. Our hounds in the north can have Kimolt as a little bite of meat. In which I want to demand rightful territories from the Troll Warren. Because they are currently at war with the... Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. We're, do we're defending quite well. And actually, I put in a lot of planes for our soldiers as well. So our guys are decked out with tons of planes. Close air support. Fighters. I mean, honestly, the NCR can't really do too much to us. We can't actually do much to them, which really, really sucks. Which means I'm going to play a little bit more off-screen between the steps of the next. Capital Hell's gone. We can continue to build. And actually, I'm going to keep building in the Yakuza territory first. Just because I want to integrate them integrate them first. Just because... Oh, there they go. There's not much around there. Like, they can't absorb any more territory. So, if we just integrate them, that'd be great. we got enough political power, of course. Manpower is doing okay. Especially since we put down a lot of resistance around here. And... Murtar Reformers, two walks in two lifetimes. Honestly, they should not be able to raise their conscription level, or autonomy level, because we are defending on their territory, so maybe that can be seen maybe later on in Hoi 4, maybe from the Hoi 4 developers, you know, Paradox. If I'm defending their territory, their autonomy should be going down just a little bit more, but regardless, I would like to core little ports of East Ports and this area. Actually, we can. Ooh, how much? I want to really actually integrate the Yakuza first. In which we will, but let's take out all the divisions that we're using. I converted a lot of divisions to mole rats because I love mole rats, okay, I guess. Uh, get rid of these guys, thank you very much. And we'll, we'll replace them with mole rats as well, so. Because we are making more divisions here, so. Very good. In which, okay, good. Let's go ahead and integrate Yakuza territory. Beautiful, my friends. Now we don't have that much army XP. Ooh, you guys. Uh, let's come here. After you guys, I'm going to switch to mole rats. And, uh, there you go. And then, happy guys, I'm just going to say goodbye. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, let's see. These guys probably won't give up the territory. No, they did not, which really, really sucks. They could end up going to war with us, so we got to be careful with that. Regardless, let's go and course some pieces of territory so we get less resistance. We get way more military factories. We finally got enough water here to last us quite a while, which would be great, great, great. And I want to core one more piece of territory before we end the episode. Probably this one, which won't be too bad. And we'll do one more focus, too. So... Actually, after I on the prize, I'm going to read a few more focuses because it's going to take a while for us to just get rid of the NCR. I'm basically just waiting for the Legion to fight them off or something, so. We'll probably end up doing Climate 3 Alignment. Now they're not at war yet, so let's do Antelope Territory, Domesticated Antelope. Uh, through complex propaganda and careful filtering of information, we can ensure that the Antelope Tribe want to be governed as we as they are. As we are. This will make our relations with our subject simpler and smoother. Volto Shacks Market, maybe some oversight is wise. I don't want anything bad to happen there. That'll be good. So after we do Eye uh, on the Prize, we'll do Domesticated Antelope. Uh, eventually, I probably will do Climate 3 alignment as well, so... Through complex propaganda and careful filtering of information, we can ensure that Climate wants to be governed as we are. This will make relations with our subject simpler and smoother, in which we should eventually, eventually expel the Shoshone, which has no description. Okay. And that'll conclude a lot of stuff on the left side, as you can see from our technology right here. We've done a whole lot of stuff. I mean, I've actually already gone ahead and done, like... You know, Vault Tech Infrastructure, we've also done Vault Healthcare, we've done Vault Manufacturing Equipment, as well as some Vault Recycling Methods, which has greatly helped us out. Obviously, we've done a lot over here as well. We can grab some better radar, which would be very, very good. They're not attacking us over here, but they're still attacking us like a bunch of crazies over here as well, which is okay. I mean, it's giving our guys some more army XP. I'm totally okay with that. You know, whatever. Um, oh, Rightful Territory. They took over Ruby Valley Refuge, it looks like, which is totally okay with me, actually. I'm totally okay with that. So... They have it as cores. I, I I like that idea. What type of flag is that? That's kind of unique. Dweller Masher, you're kind of handsome. A little bit handsome, not too handsome. And they're almost done with their focus tree as well. So, it is what it is. Um, the White Claw is looking pretty thick, not going to lie. Hopefully they don't want to... Ooh, the First Mormon Temple. Hopefully they don't want to take over the 80s. No, we actually can see what they want to do. First Mormon Temple, the World of the Prophets. 
So we can't do this one because we did the White Claws, so that's okay. We start the Mines Dominion over Utah. So, I mean, actually, we got really lucky there, sort of. Uh, yeah, we actually got really, really lucky then. Seeing as... Oh, well, maybe not. So they might still take out the 80s, which is not good. <sighs> what is the Legion up to, man? Oh, they're going to the raid, which we get as long, as long as they go to war with the NCR. That's what's going to help us out. That is the most important thing for us to do. And which, let's read a few more focuses that I will do when I'm trying to speed this up just a little bit more. We'll do Gem of the West. Who can compare to the utopia that is Vault City? None and nothing. There are none which, with such innovative thoughts, such as magnificent people, such glorious technology as us. We are the Gem of the Waste, the last true oasis of the old world and sea of broken, twisted metal. Let it be known for all, and which will also do service for citizenship, even though we got a good amount of manpower already. Our greatest ability to call the Khan masses to arms is the promise of citizenship within the immaculate walls of Vault City for them and our families in the future. For the future, and probably Security Council. The safety of all city remains an absolute priority, as is a duty of the Council to maintain that safety. Good. Cool. And we got some research, which is fine, fine, fine with me. Uh, let's go ahead and do what here? Oh, yeah, we have that stuff over there. I'll do domesticated envelope, build some more stuff up, and I guess we'll probably call that episode. I'm going to go and do this right here. Thank you, thank you. Free Vault City. Oh, oh yeah, they're still building up some infrastructure, which I'm actually okay with. Resource-wise, we're looking... Okay, we need some more scrap, so let's build up some foundries over here. There we go. And we'll finish off with some of this. It's a little bit ahead of time, let's not do that one. How do we do that? Underground expansion would be kind of nice, whatever. And we shall do some more stuff over here. Grenade machine guns. Oh, why not? Cool. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It's been a little wonky by doing this this way, but whatever. It is what it is. I didn't want to go to war with the NCR, but, you know... Whatever happens, happens. Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will hopefully defeat the NCR with the Legion's help. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.